So we all try our best to be healthy, obviously, and along with exercise, you just have to make sure you eat right. And that is the trick, eating healthy while making sure your food still tastes good. <laughs> That's important. Carlos is in Carmel this morning with some ideas to help us all. Good morning. Yeah, we're here with Gwendolyn Rogers, guys, from the Cake Bake Shop, and we're all about natural ingredients. All morning long, we're talking about the natural ingredients in foods. Yep. First, we uh, earlier this morning, we had your carrot cake as opposed to to the carrot cake bought in a store. Here's your store carrot cake, which is the number one uh, ingredient in this cake is? It's sugar. Okay. The number one ing ingredient in your carrot cake is? is? Shredded carrots. How many pounds in, your, in this cake? four pounds per cake. And okay. every carrot is hand peeled and hand shredded. Okay, so the quiche that you guys make here, mm -hmm. a very healthy alternative that to, a, say, a Hot Pocket, you know, <laughs> sausage, egg, and cheese. What's the vegetable in your quiche? It is broccoli. See, I hate broccoli, <laughs> but I would have it in your quiche rather than look at all the ingredients in that Hot Pocket. Not good for you. That's way too many ingredients. You have simple ingredients. Ingredients like egg and broccoli and things like that. Last but not least, your chocolate chip cookies. Here's hers. Here are the store bought brand. Let's look at the ingredients in the store bought chocolate chip cookies. You can see the big no no high fructose corn syrup. That is a big time no no. If you have some things in your pantry that have high fructose corn syrup, Think about throwing those out. The ingredients in your chocolate chip cookies are? Our uh, non-bromated flour. We have um, brown sugar. We have granulated sugar. We have Belgian chocolate chips. We have a European butter. And we have whole eggs. And so you use kosher salt in a yeah. lot of your... Mm -hmm. Why do you use kosher salt? Because I think kosher salt really brings the flavor out in your food. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the iodine salt, it just leaves a weird taste in your mouth. And I just, I don't, personally, I don't like it, so I don't cook with it or bake with it. So you're speaking at an engagement later this morning, in fact, in about an hour, yeah. uh, where you're going to be talking about moderation being the key. Yes, because life is too short to not enjoy the things that you love and, mm -hmm. and to be able to eat things that you want to eat. Mm -hmm. So just do it in moderation. I mean, my grandfather lived to be 99. He had a martini every day. <laughs> well, and that's, <laughs> but, but at that point, though, look, you can, instead of having the whole sleeve of, of these cookies, you have one of these and you might feel satisfied. Gwendolyn, you've been amazing all morning. Thank oh, you so thank much. Thank you so much for having Give me, me a big ball. Hug. Hey, you guys, great. listen, Let I have not eaten anything in this store. I've been very good. I'm on the diet. I'm not eating it, but I will say this. Look at this. It is a 24 hour a day chocolate flow that they have here. I press this button, I put the little cup under, and look, oh, it is man. a chocolate shot. There we go. No. That is what they have here. Look at that real quick. Look, just, yes. Okay, I'm gonna, I've been good all morning. Here okay. we go. There we go. Uh, all right. Oh, One, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. There Just a little mm -hmm. indulgence. Not, moderation, moderation, remember? The best moderation. Part is the chocolate yeah. mustache. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the, yeah. the milkshake. There you go. <laughs> moderation is the key. That's right. Moderation okay. is the key. You now you're done. Moderation. Back there on the go. juice cleanse. All right, uh, guys, thank you so much. That is not Back the on the cleanse. Back on the cleanse. Back on the cleanse.